What's up everyone, it's Mark with M2M Detail and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a one step compound and what speed you should be using, how much you should be moving the polisher. The rule is one inch per one second. So that's kind of where you wanna figure out your speed and stuff. I'm gonna be doing five passes. You can do four. I like to do five, just one more to clean it up. This is um, one step already, one step. So the residue is there. We still gotta go back and clean it up. And um, we're gonna be using microfiber pad D300 compound. So a great correction compound with microfiber DA right here on the Flex XFE uh, 15. So we also got our little roofs right here with a two inch pad on it that we cut from KXKs. We also might be breaking out the other Flex just to see if we need it or not. But until then, we're gonna leave that there. I'm gonna be doing a two step compound even though I'm showing you guys a one-step compound, one-step compound will be like more of a quick detailer. I mean, a quick detail. So you're gonna be doing like a paint enhancement. You're gonna be removing light scratches and you know, probably around 60 to 75% of swirl marks. So I normally on paint enhancement, we would be using just some um, 3D speed right here. Stuff works great, easy on, easy off. Um, no ghosting plastic. I do not have the car taped up yet because I'm just doing the hood right now to make sure the compounds work good. And if I like the way the compounds come out, then I'll mask off the whole car and start doing the whole car. And this car will be getting coated with CK Quartz 3.0. So I'll let you guys uh, see that. If you do want to see that, check out the Instagram and um, you'll see pictures of the car once it's done. This is the same car that we did the window tint, 28% all the way around. That was a video that should be releasing before or after this, not sure. But yeah, so let's get into the video. We're gonna be compounding this area right here. And pretty much all I'm gonna be showing you guys is the speed you should be using. You know, a little bit of chemical you should be using, nothing crazy. We got five little dots. That one's a little big and we're rough. The, Pads already primed, so we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna start on speed four, and we're gonna leave it on speed four. So we're gonna start at the speed. We're not gonna spread the chemical out. We're just gonna start and start getting our job done. So hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it.
So now we're gonna do light, no pressure passes. And this is just gonna be a clean up the compound so it's not really stuck on there. Still gonna go nice and slow. So. All right guys, so saw how that worked. Now let's wipe off the compound so you guys can see it. So you can see pretty much most of the compounds are already gone. So we worked in really good. Got it all nice and clean. I'll get the scan grip light out so you guys can see it. And then um, before we do that, we're gonna grab our M2M detail surface prep. Yes, we sell this. Give it one spray because we are doing a two-step compound, so try to leave a little to no residue before, you know, our next step, and then same thing after our next step. So, let's see how this came out. Let's grab the light. So it looks very, very good. You guys see we're at like a 95% correction. We still gotta go over it again. This one still needs more. But you see where the compound stops, right there. No compound up there, and bam, back on the clear. All bad, good, all bad. So hopefully you guys can see that on camera. So you can totally see where the compound stops right here. Gotta do some little cleanup right here from the microfiber pad, not a big deal. But you can see how bad that looks. And then we come over here and there's nothing. So just wanna show you guys how to do it. And that would be the D300 correction compound. But if you guys are just doing a one step and you're just using like HD speed or all in one correction compound and you're just doing a quick detail, that is one way to use your compound and the speed you should be using. Let me blow this out. So if you guys are using microfiber pads, make sure you have air so you could blow out your pad like that and get a nice new surface for your next pass. So I pretty much just made this video because I've been getting hit up about questions on, you know, just a one step compound or what to do or how to do it and what speed and all that information. So you guys know speed four is what I did and we did about one second per inch and just go slow. I went five passes. Make sure you're working small areas at a time. That's key. That will really make your compound work a lot better and help you get the best pass as possible. Don't try to do, you know, whole door at one time. I mean, you could, but you're not gonna get that type of correction or that type of clarity. So I appreciate you guys watching. As always, Mark Wham to M Detail and Mark out.